Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, let's talk about the highest paying certifications for remote jobs as of right now. Not yesterday, not hypothetical future, right now. And these are projected to escalate in, in, in opportunity in the future as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So I'm going to start with entry level and then intermediate and then in the future high, right? In another video. So entry level certifications, we have the num you know, Microsoft certified, which is a security compliance and identity and identity fundamentals, uh, stepping into the vast expanse of the cyber realm. Uh, a lot of people wonder, yeah, <laughs> they wander searching for a compass. So, uh, the Microsoft Certified Security Compliance and Identity Fundamentals. Uh, it's not just another course, right? To many people, it's a North Star, guiding them through the intricate tapestry of Microsoft's cloud labyrinth. Uh, so it, it gets into like the risk management uh, en enigmas uh, around companies' identity solutions. And, you know, a lot of companies, obviously we know Windows and Microsoft, but this is a huge cybersecurity certification to get or certification to get because again how many how many companies fortune 500 companies have a microsoft environment right uh you know so that that's something to to look into uh the next one we have is the isaka uh which is a platform and, and it's a resource uh they have a lot of industry respected certifications and there is the cybersecurity fundamentals right and you know when you're venturing into the cyber cosmos you'll drift in a sea of options right as as far as isaka so the isaka cybersecurity fundamentals uh del delves into cyber threats mastering secure networks and navigating in the incident responses uh which is under the umbrella of isaka's tutelage so you know anywhere you look isaka's reputation in the it uh space is immense right so that is definitely something that you're going to want to consider as far as you know a, a remote job and having this certification in your back pocket right another thing is the next one is comp tia security plus and this is kind of like a uh an overview right you can't go wrong with this the global acclaim and the robust robust backing of CompTIA is what makes this stands out, right? Uh, some of the things that you go through, uh, as far as going through this Comp, you know, TIA Security Plus, that is extremely attractive to employers, etc., is number one, the threats and attacks. You're gonna delve into dark waters, grappling with varied threats. You know, a as we get more advanced in tech there are more advanced threats so if you have that in your back pocket that's good number two tools in tech so when you you when you have you know this is you're going to equip your toolkit with really good security gear architecture is the next one three uh sketching uh fortresses and learning the art of secure design uh this is a big one here the next one is identity and access which is controlling how uh, you know, what boards your ship and how next is risk management. Who doesn't like to know their risks, right? Chart, you know, you're, you're charting treacherous waters and always staying a step ahead. Uh, the next one is cryptography. You're, you're unlocking codes and secrets of safeguarding treasures. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. And if you all, if you want me to, uh, get into advanced cybersecurity certifications, also let me know in the comment section below so I can do a little research, do a little some, 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 and get that prepared for you. The next one is the, uh, GIAC information security fundamentals, also known as the GISF. So, uh, this is where you get into, uh, cyber defense. You know, you're grasping the art of the digital shield and sword. Uh, business ties, learning that every security choice has business echoes, uh, information assurance, which is a pledge to guard invaluable data treasuries, and then law and ethics, uh, a compass guiding through the do's and don'ts. And then you're going to get into the, 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 you know, the kind of security tools and things of that nature. The next certification is the system security certified practitioner, also known as the SSCP. So 
one of the things that you're going to get and delve into into this certification is a uh, number one access controls which is you know along the lines of crafting keys to knowledge vaults number two daily safeguards which is steering the helm of everyday cyber protocols and uh, you have the risk alchemy which is detecting shadows and morphing them into harmless wisps uh, you then have the cyber firefighting, which is mending breaches and reviving digital uh, realms. You have cryptography, which is weaving intricate protective, uh, you know, uh, environments and, and, and code and things of that nature. You have secure communes, which is guarding, you know, digital dialogues and pathways. You have uh, fortress crafting, fortress crafting, which is ensuring uh, digital tools stand tall. And then let's get into the intermediate now. We have the Certified Ethical Hacker, right? Uh, the Certified Ethical Hacker, also known as the CEH, uh, is really prestigious as far as a badge in the uh, cybersecurity certification because it 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 kind of gets you into the realm of a hacker, right? Uh, when you have things like when you have certifications to where you think like a hacker, uh, it you know you you get to stay ahead of the curb uh, and help your organization be protected right so uh it's around a four hour exam with about 125 questions uh so it's not just a test um it's it's it it, it it really challenges you to really think like a hacker okay uh the next one is the certified cloud security professional also known as the ccsp now it is no secret that organizations all across uh the world especially the fortune 500 fortune 100 you name it they're moving more and more to the cloud uh because in many respects it's easier to manage uh and it it, it just makes things more you know organized right uh so the more you learn cloud environments the better you will be in the uh, marketplace uh because you will understand the intricacies and how it can be exploited so uh oh you know what let me let me let me let me just give you one one advanced one that we all know the one advanced one that we all know is the cissp right that's the that's the uh more well-known respected and um it's it, it's it's one of the heavy hitters i mean we, we we know uh that's one of the heavy hitters now uh you know depending on if you guys like you know if, if you really want me to delve into advanced cybersecurity certifications and things of that nature, I'll progress. But I'm just going to give you that little quick freebie. The CISSP, that's advanced, really advanced, really respected. And um, that's one of the things that, that really makes employers smile. <laughs> so please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Uh, I appreciate your viewership. Is there certifications that you want me to cover in depth even more? Please let me know in the comment section below. Stay safe and see you on the next video.